God is worthy of His honor in every area of your life. In order for God to be honored in every area, there must be prosperity in every area. That's why when the disciples asked Jesus, how do we pray? Did you know that's the only thing they ever asked him how to do it? Because they saw the results of Jesus' life flowed from a lifestyle of prayer. When Jesus answered that question, he said, you start with this, our Father. This is not a prayer to be recited. It's a prayer that's given as a format. In essence, Jesus is saying, your relationship with God is first. If he's your father, that makes you his child. You have access through Jesus into the very presence of God. Start with our father, my father. What a marvelous truth that you can have access by grace into the very face of God. Start with going to your daddy. Daddy, daddy, the spirit within cries out. My father in heaven, he's much higher than you. He is elevated. Enter the heavenly realms where you actually gain perspective of your life. You enter into his care, into his comfort, into his mind, and look down upon earth. High above all your problems, all your lack, all your limitations, all your weaknesses, all your faults, all your mistakes, all diseases, all troubles. Third, hallowed be thy name. Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let your name be honored. See, the will of God is that his name be honored and made honorable in every area of your life. This is how I know that God's will for you is that his name be honored in everything. In what? In your mind? In your, in your spirit? Spirit and mind, right? Your spirit is eternal, living within you. The, the soul, which is lost until it finds its place through Jesus, finds salvation through Jesus. Salvation is of the soul. My mind, my will, my emotions have been saved by the very cross and blood of Jesus. I'm forgiven. I've been restored to my identity as a son of God. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. My emotions, my peace, and my joy. Jesus says the kingdom is at hand. The kingdom's here. The kingdom realm is righteousness, which is an identity. Peace and joy and the Holy Ghost, peace and joy, are aspects of your soul, aspects of your emotional realm. So Jesus has purchased for you righteousness, peace, and joy. So prosperity of the soul. God, be honored in my soul today that, the, that you, what you paid for, I am living in perpetually righteousness peace joy those things because they were paid for by the precious blood of jesus are not negotiable i'm not looking for peace or joy today from the world's circumstances the day doesn't have the power to determine whether or not i'm living in peace or joy i am living in peace and joy Righteousness is not an activity, it's an identity that I live from. I'm not worried about my activity today, whether or not I'm going to be a good person or not. I'm standing in my place as a righteous son of God. <laughs> I'm living from righteousness. That's why I'm here talking to you now. I am doing according to my identity. I'm doing what a righteous man does. He shares with the world by the power of the Spirit. So God's will for you is that you prosper in the realm of your soul. And that means you take on the fullness of your, your, your identity, your new creative identity in Jesus, that you take on the fullness of who it is he says you are, that his name be honored in your soul. 
that his name be honored also in your body, that there is no place for disease in you. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. In the name of Jesus. By his stripes, you are healed. You're not in disease. A disease is a separation from your ease. Jesus paid by the body that he sacrificed for you to live in ease forevermore. You know, disease, this is a separation from ease. Ease is what God created you for. Ease is what honors him. So live at ease today. Yeah, that means you don't, uh, you, you feed this temple, right? The fuel that it needs, you feed it nutrients, right? You, 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 don't, um, you don't live to eat. You eat to live. live. Take in the nutrients that God says are good. Use wisdom. You know already. Use your common sense. Honor God by the way you eat. Honor God by the way you exercise. First, First Timothy 4, 8 says bodily training is of value. It is of some value. So if you're not working out, if you're not exercising your body, you're not honoring God. See, it's not working out. And we need to change the way we think about it. You're not, you're not working out today, receiving your health. Make it a time with God at the gym or going outdoors and working, you know, exercising, moving your body. I don't work out. I receive my health. I'm receiving from God my divine health, my divine physique that to the world should look glorious honorable honor God hallowed be your name Lord in my mind in my spirit let there be synchronicity alignment between my spirit and my mind let let your name be hallowed and honored in my body that when the world sees your body it catches their attention I, they it should never have seen anything so glorious and radiant as your physical body because the Holy Spirit lives in you. God himself lives in you. God's will for you is that his name be honored in your finances. That means you're not poor. Poverty's never been normal. God created and designed you to be wealthy, living in abundance with a supply, not only for your own needs being met, but for the needs of the world that you live in all around you. You are a meter of needs. You have no lack. And I do believe that the means to the end of spiritual wealth is service. It's not entrepreneurialism in the Bible. It's you're a servant. I'm a royal servant of God. I'm not even trying to be an entrepreneur. I don't have... I'm not in this world anymore. I'm, I'm, I am a man of service, integrity. I am equipped for the work of service to see people delivered from vices, be made whole in their soul, be united to their spirit, and to have victory in their health and victory in their wealth. I'm an ambassador of Christ. So it's not normal for God's name to not be honored. I am coming before God right now, even through this, with every area laid before him. Lord, wherever your name is not honored, I submit it to you to enter into it. I offer my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you. Straighten every crooked place, Lord. Level every mountain, lift up every valley, that your name be glorified. Let the world see and know what it looks like to be a child of God, that they may experience a salvation. Even through looking at your life,
They see him. They can know him. They can feel him, sense. And you will open your mouth to share him. Not out of effort, but because it is who you are. You are a child of God and a witness unto him. How can you not share? That's why the word of God says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Once you have tasted and seen, how, how can I, I cannot shut up. I cannot stop, but I just am going off for the Lord. He's so good. He has a future and a hope for you. The word of God says his plans for you is good and not for evil, which means God is a God of prosperity. He's, his will for you is good in every area. How can it not be? If his thoughts towards you are for good, you tell me what area are, are God's thoughts towards you not good? Money, health, in your soul, in your mind. He is a God of a future and a hope. So keep your mind fixed on the future. Stir up within you a hope for a better life. Because that's God. That's his will for you. It's not normal to be hopeless. It's not normal to not be thinking about the future. And you can, you can know, you can keep yourself there. Keeping your mind fixed on a hope and a future starts with knowing that God's thoughts towards you are for good. It's Jeremiah 29, 11. God's thoughts towards me is good. So I'm always hopeful. I'm always thinking futuristically. I'm always advancing. I'm always winning. I'm always expanding. I'm always getting better. I'm always in the future and I'm in a hopeful place. My faith is the substance of what I hope for, the evidence of what I don't see. I'm entering into new levels. Why? That his name be honored, that his name be made respectable on earth. It must be so. God bless you. Let's keep this going. In Jesus' name, bless you today. Receive this word of hope, of a future, of a promise. His plans for you are very good.